Hello, hello, and welcome to Healthy Life with Kimmy. Well, hey guys, today I am here with my weekly weigh-in update. And I'm so pleased to announce that I have lost a total of 0 0.4, 0 0.4 pounds, which brings me to a grand total of 16.3. For those of you who do not know, I am on a healthy weight loss journey, not just solely focused on the numbers, but I'm trying to have my overall health be better. And I am feeling amazing. I'm feeling better mentally. I have more clarity, it seems like. Physically, um, I'm moving a lot more. I've been working on a project still with my family and outside my normal environment where I can kind of control my food. So that has been challenging. I actually ate more desserts again this week than I wanted to. That's why I think it's on the lower end at 0.4. But the reason I didn't gain is because I've been walking a lot. I've been walking a lot. I've been moving a lot more this week. So most days I average about 10,000 steps. Yeah. Yeah. For me, that's a lot. <laughs> so I know that's helping offset some of these pastries and stuff that I happen to eat. Well, let's talk about what happened during the week too. Okay. So someone made me a banana bread and I actually ended up sharing it with someone else because I wasn't bringing that whole thing home with me. You guys know how I do. I ain't eating a little bit of it. I'm going to eat it till it's gone. So I brought home a few pieces. I shared the rest and I felt really good about that decision. I did because I already know what I would do. Now, I bring up the banana bread for a couple of reasons. One is we have to be cautious because a lot of times the way people express themselves and want to show that they love you or that they're appreciative is to give you food. It could be in the form of cakes. It could be candy, boxes of candy. It could be, you know, anything that's edible, right? A lot of times we don't just give cards. We don't just give balloons. It's always something we feel we have to take a fruit basket we have to take a, a bucket of chicken. Everything we do involves food, even to show appreciation for someone. You know, and I'm very appreciative for the gift that the person gave me, but I could not let that sabotage my diet or hijack what my plan was. You know, so again, I was appreciative, but I'm like, eh, this person may not know I'm doing Weight Watchers, you know, or they may not, you know, even if they know. They didn't think about it because it's not their journey. It's my journey to say yay or nay what I'm going to put in my body, okay? So just be cautious of allowing people to hijack your diet. It could be by means of gifts. They may say, hey, let's go out to dinner. And, you know, you just want to order the chicken salad and something like that. And you're like, no, go ahead and treat yourself. Get the steak or get whatever, you know. And if that's not part of what you have planned to eat, that could derail your whole plan, you know? So you want to be cautious of allowing other people to kind of dictate, even subtly, by being a gift, what you do with your diet, okay? That's the first thing. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is how nauseous I felt. So a couple of days, I ate some watermelon. Not a big deal. I love watermelon. And guys, I was so nauseous. So... I'm really having to check. I'm going to check my blood sugar very soon. I'll be going to my doc, to the doctor for my annual. But I was so nauseous. It frightened me. And I was like, okay, so what did I eat? I had to go back to the watermelon, which I did eat a lot of it, you know, and the sugar content. So even though we are eating fruits, we have to be cautious of the sugar. And again, it's making me question, am I, are, are my um, blood sugar numbers kind of high because I was so nauseous after eating it and it was at a spike so I don't know I have to really examine what I'm eating I'm still working on what I'm eating how it makes me feel uh, another stressor I had and these are some of the things that happened that caused me to kind of get out of character or kind of go sideways on my plan I had a stressor this week guys it was a bad one it was my hair now today it's looking okay today this is kind of more as normal state and i still didn't do everything i normally do to it um i usually add one more gel okay this is not a hair channel but the reason i bring this up is because various stressors can cause us to also overeat and this week i was feeling pretty pretty terrible about my hair i tried a new product and i think it added too much protein and my hair is not that thick I didn't need anything added to my hair. I have a little regimen that I normally do, and it works just fine. It works just fine. But 
I decided I wanted to try this other product. I went to the natural hair show. I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos. I went to the natural hair show in Atlanta. I bought some product. I said, let me try this product. And I thought it was going well. I thought it was going well. I even called my friends. I was like, oh, I love it. And then shortly thereafter, it was terrible. My hair felt like straw. So I washed my hair. And because it has so much protein in it, this product, I said, maybe it's coating my hair. I Googled it. And it said it could coat your hair. It could take several washes to get the protein out. Because it kind of gets to the strands and all this and all that. So I washed my hair. Nothing happened. So I'm still stressing. I'm still eating a little bit more. Unconsciously, I knew I was... I kind of knew it. I kind of didn't. I knew I was eating more, but I couldn't get to why. And I thought about it. I'm really stressing about my hair. It's also thinning. It's also thinning. And I just was feeling really bad about my hair. I, was, I almost wanted to shave it off. Okay, so why do I bring up the hair thing again? Because it was a stressor for me. It was a stressor. I talked about being an emotional eater before. And I am an emotional eater. So that happened to me. Also this week, I had to visit a friend of mine who had a terrible loss in her family. And I won't discuss their business here because it is private. But it really affected me. It really did. And I knew that I need to visit them. And um, that was also a stressor for me. It was also a stressor for me. We love our friends and family so much. And when they suffer, we suffer. So I ate a little bit more a couple days before I knew I had to go visit. And I ate a little bit more that day. Also, I knew I knew I did. So that's why this point four loss, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it as a win because I had a few stressors. So I have to learn how to do better with these stressors when things come up. Um, what could I have done differently is always what I think about. I, I don't see anything right this second other than saying no to some of the pastries and stuff. But with my hair, I really could have just did a little bit more homework maybe to find out why. I was having that issue, and you know, with the, with the protein, and then that might have helped me to avoid just feeling so bad about myself. Because I I am kind of an all or nothing person sometimes too. If I'm feeling great, I'm like woo woo, let's get it. But if I'm feeling bad, mm, you can see it all in my face. So I wasn't feeling that great about my hair. So I did change the product. And I got most of it out. So my hair is coming back to its regular curl pattern, which I'm loving today. I didn't really comb my hair that much just today, but I actually like how it how it's developing. Let's just say that if I was actually going somewhere. So I would like that. So I did walk a lot more this week. Let's talk about the good. I really, I walked a lot. I already mentioned that. I'm trying to still drink more water. I'm only, I'm like one or two of my big pink cups that I talk about. I was trying to see if I had it on my nightstand. But um, I do want to still continue to increase my water. I want to continue these steps because I'm feeling really good when I walk more. I'm telling you. Now, I got to tell y'all about something else I tried yesterday. Strap coming all down. Let me, let me tell y'all about something I tried yesterday. I tried a steak and cheese egg roll from a Chinese restaurant. Oh, guys. It tastes just like a Philly cheesesteak. Just like a Philly cheesesteak. If you have not tried one, you must. So I did not know if that was just going to completely blow my diet. Because it takes beef a long time to get out of my system. Not to mention the cheese. I told you I was thinking about giving up cheese. I told that first egg roll up and I, lo and behold, I had to have a second one. Everybody was talking about these egg rolls. So if you have not tried a steak and cheese egg roll <laughs> you are missing out okay so that thing was good now i looked at my weight watchers points because i'm doing weight watchers for those of you who don't know it was six well i think it said six points for an egg roll but this steak and cheese egg roll i think was probably a little bit more than that so sometimes it's not always an exact science you kind of gotta eyeball it because every restaurant is not in the points system it's just not so you got to kind of wing it so I usually try to go over, you know, and I don't count my, when I say go over, I mean, I overestimate. So if it says five for something, I think it might look like it might be seven. I'll go ahead and put seven. I'll go ahead and put seven. I don't count my steps with like when I'm walking and stuff. 
to get more points to use. Do you guys do that if you're doing Weight Watchers? Because I don't. Do you add like your exercise points that, to get more volume of food? I figure it balances out and I really try to keep my numbers simple. So I don't go in and say, well, I add another five points because I walked. I just let it all balance out in the end. So let me know if I'm sabotaging myself by doing that. Do you think I should count it? Should I not count it? I just don't know. Let me know what you think. So just to recap, I lost 0.4 pounds. I'm at 16.3. I cannot wait till I hit 20. I hope you can see the picture on the thumbnail because you can see it side by side. This video will not be edited, so I won't be able to put the put it in the video for you. But I do want you to know I am doing very well and I feel good, guys. So plate by plate, step by step, we're gonna do it. It didn't it didn't come on overnight, so I gotta be patient. And patience is not my thing. I'll just tell you. Well, anyway, look for more videos in the future, more updates, more tips and tricks, and everything else in between. Until next time, guys, this is Healthy Life with Kimmy.